dear God, that makes this place of worship, dear God. Lord, I need more of you every day. I need your strength. I need your grace. So oh God, I need your, your humility, your reverence, everything, dear Jesus. Amen. Fill in our hearts. Lord, fill us, I pray, oh God, with your Holy Ghost. God, a more of a greater portion of that Holy Spirit to live in our hearts. Manifest your word. Lord, we want to ask you tonight. May the Spirit of the Lord just touch the hearts of your children, dear God. Father, we want to ask now, Father, for my golden family here, Lord Jesus. Special need for them, Lord, we're praying and asking you to intercede in this and take care of the situation, Lord. Father, I ask you to continue to bless their lives, dear God, on this journey, we pray. Lord, for the traveling mercies for our brother and Lord, those who are not here this evening, Places where we can come and where we can just thank you tonight. Lord, the angels of God are here tonight. And we love you, Father, for the presence of the Holy Spirit. And we ask you, Father, now in the name of that precious name, Jesus Christ. God, we commit ourselves now in this service once again. <coughs> Lord, we just want to ask you now, meet the needs upon the hearts, yeah. and we ask you, Father, now in Jesus' name, thanking you for all things. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. You may be seated. You, G, let me see. Amen. amen. So we got on a little bit of the chest there. <coughs> Respiratory, it just seems to linger on, so amen. Just do our best, our little portion, our little part that we can do. And, and um, some days you're high, some days you're low, but I'm still in the fight. Some days you may not just feel like it, and other days you may feel like it. But 
gift of grace. And we thank God tonight that, amen, the presence of the Lord is here. And that's what it's all about. Amen. God's presence is here tonight. So, amen. And so I know it because I know God's people. We love God's children amen. so much. So God is good. Amen. Well, I've been to the water and I've been baptized. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Well, I've been changed from that creature that I once was and redeemed is now my name. Well, I've been changed. Father, we just thank you this evening, Lord Jesus. Father, for this, another opportunity, Lord, to just come to your house, Father. Father, and to look into your word, Father, uh, and to, to just look into and to see where we're coming short, Father. We just ask you, Lord, just to, to come down this evening, Lord, and just help us this yes, evening, amen. Lord. Help me to get out of the way, Lord, and help your people, Lord. Just grant them what they have need of this evening, Father. We ask these things in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Scripture says, now faith 
is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things <coughs> not seen. Uh, I love this because you can be seen. It says here, uh, faith, it's, it's a substance. See, it's something that's not made up. Something that's not, um, uh, that, that doesn't exist, but it, it is a substance here, you see, uh, that the believer sees, see. Um, others can't see this substance, right? But the believer can see this substance, amen? It's a substance to them. This wood here is a substance, see? And uh, if, if, you know, if, if, if you're healthy and everything, you, you can see that. You can see that, that that is there, that it exists, see? It's a substance, to them, it's real to them, and he said that's what faith is to the believer. Amen. 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 Brother says that faith is a revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Faith is a revelation. The way Brother Branham explains a revelation, uh, he takes it like a, a, an artist working on a statue, and he covers that statue with a, a tarp or a blanket or a sheet or something. And you don't know what's under that tarp, under that canvas. You don't know what is behind there, see. But it, when, when they remove that canvas, that tarp, see, then it becomes revealed. Amen. You're able to see it. You can, you can see that substance there, see. Uh, and, and that's what, brother, sister, that's how faith is to the believer. Amen. That's why you're here this evening, brother, sister, because your faith is in action because you believe the word of God and you see how that God is moving in this hour, in this age, brother, sister. And you're just like Noah. You're moving with fear to prepare the ark. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Isn't that our testimony this evening? Amen. Amen. Because it's a substance to us. It's real to us. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. Glory to God. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Amen. I want to go to another scripture here. I got I, different directions here, different, different ways I want to hit this here. Um, let's go to Nehemiah, the book of Nehemiah. <coughs> Chapter 9 and verse 19. Scripture reads, Yet thou in thy manifold mercies forsook them not in the wilderness. Speaking here of the children of Israel in the wilderness, says, The pillar of the pillar of the cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night to show them the light. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. what the scripture reads. It says, and the way wherein they should go, showing them where they should go. And it was like leading them, guiding them. Amen. Amen. Yes, the pillar of fire. Amen. Let's go to uh, John. I have a little bit of reading here, but that's okay. Uh, Gospel of John. <coughs> Chapter 14. Chapter 16 and verse 7. Jesus says here in Gospel 16, uh, verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin and of, and of righteousness and of judgment. 
of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and ye see me no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Amen. This is before Calvary. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And they don't know really what he's talking about. Yeah, good. He says, How be it, verse 13, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. So the spirit of truth, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. So he's connecting the spirit of truth to the comforter. Actually, he's connecting that, making that connection. Amen. The spirit of truth is the, is the comforter. Amen. And the comforter is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's saying that the, 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 the spirit of truth is going to guide them. He says, the spirit of truth has come. He will guide you. See, Just like in the Old Testament, the pillar of fire guided them. The pillar of fire led them. Yes. See, the pillar of fire broke himself up on the day of Pentecost. See, uh, and filled the heart of man, those 120 believers, to continue the work, but see, now it was in the heart of man amen. to guide amen. them. Amen. He's still the same God. Yes, amen. He's still the pillar of fire. Yes. He's still the same spirit, see, the Holy Ghost, yes. pillar of fire. See, but now he's telling them he's going to guide them, amen, going to lead them. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing when you see in the Old Testament there, uh, children of Israel, when the pillar of fire moved, the priests blowed the trumpet, and wherever they were, whatever time it was, it could be two in the morning, they had to pull up their stakes in their tents, and they had to move with the pillar of fire. Yeah. Amen. They had to move with the pillar of fire. Yeah. Amen. Now, Brother Branham, he preached a message uh, called Countdown. Uh, typifying uh, the achievements of man. And Brother Ram said that the achievement, the achievements of man, it's a spiritual type, or it, it's a natural typing the spiritual, forerunning the spiritual. <coughs> um, and it, it's amazing. See? Amen. He takes Martin Luther... In the horse and buggy age, and we're all home folks, and we know yeah. and we know these scriptures, we know these quotes, and the horse and buggy, and that was the achievement of man at that time. That was their mode of transportation. Yeah. 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 But as simple as it was, that was God mm -hmm. showing. Yeah. See, Amen. The natural type and the spiritual. And Luther preached justification. The just shall live by faith. Because with that message, just like Israel had to pull up their stakes and move at 2 o'clock in the morning or whatever it was. See, it was the dark ages at that time. The dark ages, that's what history calls it. And Luther blew the trumpet. Amen. Just like in the Old Testament, the priest would blow that trumpet. It's time to move. God is making a move. And they'd have to pull those sticks up and go with the pillar of fire. Oh, hallelujah. So Luther blew that trumpet. He blew that trumpet that just shall live by faith. And that was in the horse and buggy age. The power that they had was a horse, a natural yeah. horse. Yeah. One horsepower. Yeah. One horse equaled one horsepower. That's what they had, one horsepower. Yeah. 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 But the pillar of fire is still moving. Yeah. Well, God didn't stop yeah. leading man from the Old yeah. Testament. He kept on 
leading man. Amen. But his choice to, to lead from, right, it was no longer 30 miles high. It was now in the heart of man. Amen. That's where God was Amen. choosing to lead man from. Amen. Oh, choosing yeah. to lead him yeah. from his heart. Yes. See, and then, but God's still moving, you see. And, 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 and Luther pulled out people from that Catholic age. Yeah. From that Catholic church. Because there was only one Christian church at that time. And it was Catholicism. Nobody had Bibles. No. See. And uh, so the pillar of fire moved again. And God chose an Englishman by the name of John Wesley. And John Wesley, God moved upon him. And he blew the trumpet. Yes. Just like the priest would blow that trumpet. He blew that trumpet. Yes. See, Sanctification. Separating yourself from the world. Amen. Amen. Brother Ram says, and at the end of that church age, that's when the automobile came out. At the end of that age. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was the uh, the Model T, I believe, right? But that had, I looked up the Model T, and that now had, guess what? Not just one horsepower, but that had the power of 20 horses. <laughs> 20 horses. Yeah. It had the power of 20, who had 20 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. God, had, God was restoring. God had something better, see. He, he had more. He was unfolding more of himself. Amen. See? And now they have more and more horses. And John Wesley, uh, in that age, he, he had preached that message. And then the Pentecostal age come around. See, and that trumpet was blown. Yeah. And the people came out. Amen. Amen. And not, and they had more power, and they raised up. Amen. They were now in flight. Amen. They were now in flight. But that's God. God's moving. Amen. 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 Yes. Were, the Wright brothers came out with the airplane, and. Um, And they had more power. Now, Wesley, he didn't do away with sanctification. But I'm saying he just added more to it. That was his words. He just added more to it. Amen. Now, somebody may say, well, you're not supposed to add to the word. Well, wait a minute. You're not supposed to take away from the word. So if you subtracted all this word away from uh, 2,000 years ago, you're not really adding more. You're just restoring it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You're not really yeah. adding more. You're yeah. just putting back what was taken away in the yeah. first place. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not adding to the yeah. word. Yeah. Somebody may get tripped on that. But brother, don't use that term. He just added more to it. He just yeah. restored more. He just restored what was supposed to be back then. Yeah. Amen. See. Yeah. <clears throat> See. Ooh. That was good. Brother Ram said that he said that uh, he, he John Wesley he didn't condemn <coughs> justification. Mm -hmm. No, he just added more to yes. it. Yes. Amen. He just added more to it. Amen. And the Pentecostals they didn't condemn sanctification. See, they just. They just added more to it. They just uh, restored that part of the word back. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Oh, Amen. praise be to God. Be to God. Amen. Why is it, church? Why is it that nobody has any problem in the message uh, preaching on justification yeah. and on. sanctification? Yeah. They can preach that till, till, till uh, whatever, dude, till the blue in the face, see? <laughs> but when they preach on the baptism of the Holy Ghost, oh, for some reason... Yeah. That's for another day gone. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. oh my. Uh -huh. See? And, um, and then we know, Brother Bram says that now, 
it was in the 60s, he says, he says we're in the astronaut age. Yes. Right. Yeah. Even more power. Uh -huh. More yeah. power. Amen. I mean, you have to break uh, the gravitational pull of the earth. Yeah. See? And, and just look at the timeline. It, it's so perfect. How can this be off? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, amen. Ooh, a prophet had to bring that out. Amen. How would we have yeah. seen that? That's right. See what I'm saying? Ooh, that is the truth. How would we have seen that? Amen. That's right. See? And um, uh, the astronaut age, see, with even more power, It was the same spirit, but more power. They could, they could go higher. They could see more. They could believe more. Mm -hmm. See, the eagle age. See, Malachi 4. And, and, and that's awesome because just take the natural, because the natural types is spiritual. I mean, unless you're Amish or something like that, who's going to go out and buy themselves one of those bicycles from the 1890s with a big, huge wheel in the front and a little wheel in the back? <laughs> I mean, who's going to do that? Yeah. <laughs> um, who's going to go out and say, I want to go buy me a Model T so I can go drive on the freeway? Yeah. Amen. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Who's going to go, you know, and say, you know what, I, I got to go over to, um, I got to go to take a trip over to Europe, uh, but I got to go find me a ship like the Mayflower to go back over to Europe. Yeah. I mean, who's, who's going to do that? Mm -hmm. Brother, when you've got jet engines, it'll get you there. You've got automobiles that'll drive in all kinds of weather with air conditioning uh, and a heater, mm -hmm. a stereo sound. Mm -hmm. See? You can even talk on Bluetooth from your phone from that car. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. To take you to the airport to get on that jet engine to get to where you gotta go in another continent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just another part. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Who was gonna get in a horse and buggy? And go down the freeway on your horse and buggy uh, to San Francisco to get on a Mayflower and say, you know what? I don't want to take the Panama Canal. I'm going to go around South America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, if you reject, come on. If you reject. <laughs> The automobile and the freeway and the jet engine, what yeah. other options do you got? Yeah. Brothers and sisters, if you reject the power of God in the church, Woo! brothers and sisters, what else do you got? Amen. 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 from on high. Amen. 
Amen. from power from on high. Wow. Well, how many horsepowers does that equal? Well, let's just take some scripture. Revelations 19 saw one on a white horse. Yeah. Coming out of heaven on white horses. Yeah. That's a lot of horsepower. <laughs> Amen. Oh, how much horsepower? Well, let's see. Uh, Jude says that Enoch saw him coming with 10,000 yeah. oh, of his yeah. saints. Amen. That's a lot of horsepower. Yeah. Whoa. 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 It's a lot of horsepower. Amen. Amen. But brother, it's the truth. Amen. It's the truth. That's power. Amen. That's the power it's going to take the church in a rapture. Amen. Yeah. That's going to break gravity. Amen. 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 You know, run around and preach on a statue of a perfect man. We know that, right? Yeah. And we're all home folks. And we know the diagram that he used. He used a, a pyramid diagram. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, he said this is not pyramid teaching, but, you know, taking the dimensions of the, the, the city uh, coming out of heaven. I believe that's how he got that. And, um, but that's what he used. And just taking that theme of the natural type and the spiritual, we know like uh, Enoch's pyramid that the Enoch built. Yeah. You know they say that, that when that was when he, when that was first built, it was built with an outer coating or shell of limestone. Right. And he said that it was so polished. Yeah. These archaeologists and scientists, whatever they say, it was so polished. That you would have been able to see it from outer space. It would have shined like a jewel. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. But um, that's what I want to get to. I was um, just kind of reading on it and things because there, there's some there's some um, special things about the pyramid and, and the, those certain dimensions. It's got to be a certain dimension that when they charge it. Like if they build one in a lab or something with certain those certain dimensions that are required, and they charge it with an electromagnetic power. I, I don't know how true this is. Maybe I shouldn't even go here, but uh, you know, just take it for what it is. You know, yeah. but take it for what it is. Um, they say, uh, I guess there's these Russian scientists that were working on this, and they say that uh, they charge it with electromagnetic f field or power. But that pyramid uh, would levitate. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow. Oh, wow. Man. Brother Ram says, you're birthed into this, you're birthed into this, you're birthed into this, you're birthed into this, you're birthed into this. He says that like seven times. He says, and you still ain't got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Right? But brother, sister, when that, when that seal happens, brother, sister, I believe that diagram, which is it's just, it's just a type of us, we're going to levitate off this earth. Amen. 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 Now that I know is true. Amen. That I know is true. Amen. 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 I'm not sure about the other. It just kind of hey, yeah. just kind of came in there, and I thought, wow, that kind of goes with the flow. <laughs> Anyways, the bride is going to levitate. Amen. <laughs> There's going to be a power that's going to lift her off the earth. Amen. Yes. Oh, you God. Okay. You know, they say um, um, the um, astronaut, when he's in outer space, he has a control tower. Mm -hmm. You know, and you've heard him, you know, maybe on the radio. You know, they're talking Houston, Houston. Yeah. And they're talking to Houston. And that's their control tower. But the control tower for the believer is the heart. Oh, yeah. Amen. It's the heart. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's where God controls Amen. us. That's how He leads us. That's Amen. how He guides us. Yeah. 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 Same pillar of fire. And that same pillar of fire was photographed, guess where? In Houston. <laughs> In Houston. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> You know, it's natural type and the spiritual. Yeah. I, I, don't, yeah. I believe, brother and sister, there's uh -huh. not, that's not a coincidence. No. Uh -huh. Why the space program is in Houston. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's just me. Oh, uh -huh. my. Amen. It's good. Yeah. But that's how God guides us, brother. Amen. Just Amen. Amen. 
salvation. Amen. I could go on and on and on of the things that God is so good for us to and what he's done. You know, you were talking there about uh, who would want to travel there like that. I was reading about that young little girl. She's um, Greta Thunberg. Do you remember who she is? She's a world climate person now, a young little girl that the world's talking about. And she doesn't want to travel by plane. She doesn't want to do any of that stuff anymore. She travels by this old-fashioned sailboats and everything else and stuff like that. So still some people, I guess. But I want to go higher and higher with Almighty God. Yeah. 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 I tell you, throughout the week, I just keep saying God is good all the time. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wherever, whatever. Yeah. God is good. That's right. God is good. Because I was a sinner. So unworthy. Yet for me. Hey, bro.
pastor to the pastor here. His name is Life. His name is Master. Yes, he is. Thank you. Savior. Thank you. Lion of Judah. He's all in all. a testimony in your heart for the saving grace of God. I have a testimony and the testimony is the grace of God. Every day is my testimony. When I get up, my Jesus, my Lord, my healer, my friend, God Almighty. Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you, my Jesus.
Spirit, Jesus, abide with me. As I've traveled life's troubled sea, make my life what you'd have it to be, dear Jesus. Abide with me. Dear Jesus,